guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. It's, uh, it's great to see you. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you do enjoy it, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do. Turn your notification bell on because there's going to be plenty more videos about gyno to come. This is episode number three of a new series titled Gyno Advice. And today, I'm going to give you my top five tips for recovery post-surgery. We've talked about things to prepare you for surgery. We've even talked about things to help decrease the look of your gyno without having the surgery. Uh, but today we're going to focus on, you know, having gone through the surgery, having taken that leap of faith, um, which, you know, for anyone out there who has done that, I want to say a big congratulations. It's not easy. It's, uh, it's a bit scary at times, especially, you know, going into the, the, the unknown of recovery. I've been through it. There are certain things I wish I had done differently, and that is what's going to make up the uh, meat and potatoes of my advice today. So here we are with my top five tips to recover after gyno surgery. But first, before we get into the video, a quick word from our exclusive video sponsor, Redcon One. What's going on, guys? It's me again. First and foremost, thank you for clicking on this video. Secondly, this video is proudly brought to you by Redcon One. Now for anyone who's been around this YouTube channel for any length of time, you may know or you may not that the reason I begun this channel was to do with bodybuilding and fitness. In fact, I've always had a passion for bodybuilding and fitness and I still do. So it made sense to finally connect with a worldwide trusted supplement brand. And the one that I've chosen for this YouTube channel is Redcon One. Now personally, I've been using Redcon One products for a good five years. The first product I ever used was Total War. It's a pre-workout. I don't use pre-workouts all the time, but if I do, you can bet your bottom dollar I'm going straight for that Total War. You know, Redcon One as a brand is going from strength to strength. Head over to their website and check out their entire range of products. It's not just Total War, and it's certainly not just supplements. They've got everything. So, whether you are from the United States, whether you're from Canada, or whether you're from the UK and Europe, you have an opportunity to head down into the description box below, check out the website link for whichever of the three regions you're in, use code T20JMC. So that's T20JMC, for 20% off your order. And look, whether it's a t-shirt, a snapback, or a tub of Total War, I can guarantee you're gonna be happy. Once again, this video is brought to you exclusively by Redcon One. Myself and my YouTube channel are proud to be partnered with Redcon One. Head down into the description box below, check out all of the information, and uh, well, happy lifting, guys. And peace out. Okay, so, my situation is slightly different than a lot of your guys' situation is gonna be, because of the fact that I, did my surgery not only under a local anesthetic, not a general, so I was awake at the time, even though I don't remember a lot of it, but I was literally in and out of the surgery within you know, a couple of hours. So I was at home by myself with my painkillers and my compression vest and my drains, no help, feeling a little bit out of my depth. So what I did is I turned on the camera and I started vlogging and I vlogged my entire recovery process. I vlogged my mistakes, I vlogged my successes. And at the end of the day, I sit here in front of you now three and a half months, uh, three and a half years, sorry, sometimes it seems like three and a half months, three and a half years post-surgery with a little advice. My five tips for recovery. Tip number one is to stay as still as possible. As still as possible. I, I'm going to admit, even on the first night, I laid on my side. I wasn't prepared to, to try and get comfortable enough to go to sleep on my back. It wasn't happening, so I laid on my side. From the first night, I was compromising my recovery. I was compromising my, 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 my incisions, my, my cuts, my stitches, everything, by laying on it. But that's me. That's my mistake. That's a mistake that I don't want you guys to make. So for the first 48 hours, first 48 hours, stay still. And that goes back to what I mentioned in a previous video, having someone to help you, okay? You don't need someone to help you, but it would be advantageous, okay? So whatever you have to do, stay as still as possible for those first 48 hours and try, try your best to stay on your back if you can. Number two, and this is the next step in your recovery, is to not worry about the drains coming out. I, <laughs> I went in there on day number three, I said, you know what, take these out. I want them out, I'm afraid of taking them out. I want them out as soon as possible because I don't wanna to have to continue worrying about how much it's gonna to hurt to get them out. Guys, it does not hurt 
it doesn't hurt. The drains come out like that. They're thin as fuck, they come out, you might think that you're going to feel it, you might even feel a slight sensation, but it certainly doesn't hurt. It doesn't feel as weird as you think it's going to. So guys, throughout that first three, four days, until you get your drains taken out, if you do have drains, don't worry about it. It's not going to hurt. They will take them out when they're ready. Don't rush it. Because at the end of the day, if you take those drains out early, like I believe I did, bleeding is going to continue to happen. It's not going to stop. And that is going to develop hematomas, which is what happened to me. My third tip is, once again, a continuation of the process. So you will have drains put in. You will have tape, uh, taping down those drains and also taping down your, uh, your chest um, to, I'm going to assume, uh, reduce the risk of it filling up with you know fluid or, or blood um, but what they're going to also do is, is put your com compression vest on now I took my compression vest off after a week that is what I swear my surgeon said to me what I'm led to believe now is that that was at least a week if not two if not three weeks early so whatever you do keep that compression vest on it's only gonna make for a more successful result it might be uncomfortable yes it may be and that's what I struggled with I couldn't wait to get it off after a week I was looking for the first opportunity to get it off just like I was looking for the first opportunity to get my drains out but that's not the way you do it I spent 27 years dealing with this shit before I got the surgery done and I wanted to rush my recovery no 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 if you've got that attitude don't even get the surgery you're not in the right headspace to go and get it. You need to take this seriously. They are cutting something out of your body. It's a major surgery. It might seem minor, but it's major. They're, they're literally cutting a mass out of your body. It's almost like cutting a tumor out. And that's a major surgery. So guys, don't take it lightly. My fourth tip, guys, and the only reason I'm including this is because it happened to me. <laughs> you know, I've got experience with this. And this is if you do happen to develop a hematoma, a meaningful one, a hematoma is a collection of blood under the skin due to bleeding, internal bleeding, right? It's going to happen. I've seen worse hematomas than I got, okay? I have. I've seen, you know, a few guys have sent through their, <laughs> their, their recoveries and I'm like, Jesus Christ, like they've got bruising all down their bodies and all sorts of shit and I'm just like, fucking hell, what did the surgeon do? But at the end of the day, each and every person is different. So the surgeon might do the exact same thing to two different bodies. And the results will be totally different. You never know what's going to happen. That's what makes us human. That's what makes us individuals. But that's what also makes, you know, this next tip um, important. And that is that if you do have a hematoma, for God's sake, get it drained. Get the thing drained. I didn't. I listened to my surgeon, who I didn't have a lot of trust in, but he was the only person I had to ask. He said, leave it. He said, at the end of the day, I've seen hematoma after hematoma after hematoma. Yours won't be the worst. Yours isn't the first and it certainly won't be the last. But Jacob, all I can say is that it's going to be okay. It's going to work out. Stay positive. All it is is blood. Blood is eventually, eventually, key word here, eventually, years later, um, I was told it would be, you know, fully absorbed into the body. All the discoloration would be gone within a couple of months. It took over two years for that to happen. So guys, I'm telling you, to get it drained, not only for your sanity at the time, but also for that long-term recovery. Bruising due to hematomas. That discoloration pissed me off for so long because it was, it was the remnants, it was the last reminder, that final reminder of the terrible recovery that I had gone through. So all I wanted for fucking months and months was for my chest to go back to the color it was before and it took forever. So, guys, get it drained. There will be one factor, one deciding factor as to whether you get it drained or not. They're gonna have to stick something else into your body to try and excise some blood. There is a risk Although a small risk, there is a risk that sticking another foreign object in there could actually make things worse through, you know, developing a, um, an infection, a new infection. So I was told that it wasn't a good idea to drain it due to that risk. Looking back now, 
talking to you know thousands of guys who've gone through the same thing and who have got it drained I should have pushed for it I should have said you know what I don't care what you say I'm gonna take the risk get this blood out of my chest but I didn't because I didn't know but now I do take the risk guys get it drained and you'll be far far happier for it you might have to drain it once you might have to go in multiple times but at the end of the day make sure you've got that relationship with your surgeon uh, make sure he's willing to do it if you know if this happens and and everything should be fine now this brings us to tip number five and uh, my favorite tip of all actually and the the uh, you know the, the the easiest tip to perform but at the same time sometimes the hardest and that tip is to remain positive <laughs> as hard as it might be remain positive guys and hopefully my recovery vlog series you know having shown my recovery having shown what I went through is going to help with that it's going to help with uh, remaining positive remaining positive you know what I mean keeping the faith remaining optimistic not only before the surgery but also la but also after that it's all gonna be okay it's all gonna work out this is from me to you this is literally <laughs> this is me wearing my heart on my sleeve but I need to tell you guys something and that is that your gyno does not define you okay your chest does not define you no part of your body defines you you define you you define who you are you know who you are you know what direction you're going you know what you're capable of and if gyno is holding you back get it sorted man the possibility is there or at least work on it let me know let me know guys let me know down in the comment section below how you're feeling you know what you're thinking let us know let us build a community around these these advice these gyno advice videos guys that's the least i could hope for so as always if you have enjoyed it hit the like button i will be back for more of these gyno advice videos i'm just uh just trying to decide what uh exactly to cover but uh, if you've got any suggestions as always hit me up and with that being said have a great day peace out guys